Hey guys, Master Kids back with some Borderlands, the pre-sequel exclusive gameplay footage yet again for you today. This was recorded at an event I was re uh, invited to recently by 2K Australia here in Sydney, and it was a really, really fun event, so I've got to give them a big shout out for including me in this, and also for giving me permission to record and upload this to share with everyone out there. So you can see, this is the new gold chest. Uh, the gold chest makes a return in Borderlands the pre-sequel. Love it or hate it, it is a good way to get yourself some fairly high quality gear early on. Um, a lot of people really didn't like the whole idea of the gold chest because they, they wanted legendaries out of it. But in my opinion, the gold chest was always a way for for players that were down on their luck and they couldn't find themselves good uh, gear or good weaponry, you could go there, use a gold key, and you'd have a chance to get yourself a fairly reasonable weapon. You can get yourself some purples or some blues. Of course, I couldn't get any information whether you could get legendaries out of this one. You can't get legendaries out of the Borderlands 2 gold chest, and I imagine this would work the same way. In most terms and things, when you sort of talk to the guys... Uh, behind the scenes of the game. They want Legendary still to be reasonably special where it's an event when you get one. It's either a drop from a random enemy, a drop from a predefined enemy, um, or it's a, an extreme reward. It, it's something I don't think you'll ever see in the gold chest. But I could be wrong. This is pre-release gameplay, so I have no idea whether things are going to change, update. But yeah, in my opinion, use your gold keys early. Get them from Gearbox Software Twitter, get them from the Gearbox forums, get them from Randy Pitchford's Twitter. He's probably the best uh, guy if you actually want to get gold keys. He tweets them out um, viciously. <laughs> he constantly tweets them out. But anyway, gold chest, making a return. Let me know. Love it. Hate it. Are you going to use it? What do you think about it? Uh, but anyway, this is Concordia. This is a central hub. So where it's located is the central hub. See there, that's the ZX-1, which is uh, a new legendary weapon. I believe a few people have already covered it, but it was one of the predefined weapons they gave us. So everyone basically had the same or similar loadout when we played the game. Uh, that was one of the weapons there. I think I scroll through and, and give you a bit of a look at them in a second. Uh, so this is uh, a test. I wanted to see whether you could still drop stuff. So of course you can, which I think probably means you can still duplicate stuff. It's just the nature of Borderlands. Uh, I don't think that's something that will ever go away. This is the Cutting Edge Fatale. Um, very similar to the Bitch Legendary SMG in basically design and everything from Borderlands 2, but this one is now a freeze weapon. So you see their Cutting Edge Fatale Stone Cold Killer. Planetary Zappinator was the white one there. I skipped that and go to the ZX-1, which is actually a reference to the Fifth Element movie. They had a weapon in that called the Zorg ZF-1. Uh, and you'll see the red text is replay. There was a button on it where you could click it and every subsequent shot would go to the target no matter where you were aiming. I don't know whether this works like that. I couldn't get it to work like that, but that's an energy weapon that works like a pulse rifle. This is the big one, Celestial Gladiator class mod. I don't know whether anyone has had footage or seen this yet. I'm not entirely sure. I couldn't find much about it, but um, it's a good thing to look at now. Pause it, look at the skills, go to the skill tree builder. I'll link it in the description, and you'll be able to see what this class mod uh, will allow you to do with a build once it's uh, a top level one. I don't think you'd probably get one of these that low at 15, but it was something that they gave us. And I'm glad it was there because I can share it with you and you guys can have a look at end game skills uh, and see what you can actually do with a legendary class more that's going to give you maybe four, maybe five in each of those skill trees. Miss Moxie's Probe, uh, another healing weapon. So the Moxie weapons are making a return. And I think I finished it out by just showing you the skill trees and what uh, they actually boost. But anyway, maybe a little bit more footage to come. I'll see how I go. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until the next one, we'll see you later.